Thomas, you need a rucksack, you need your coat and your school bag, please. Come on. Oh, is it hot in here? Yeah. <laughs> It was so what I took off my card again and it still really Well, that's it, back on the school run, back to almost normality now. Uh, at least I'm home, few more courses to go, but um, kind of my first thing I want to talk about this morning, and uh, when I say talk about, it's more thank you. Thank you to you guys for kind of sticking with me the last three or four weeks because it's been really, really difficult to make any interesting content whatsoever while I've been pretty much working most of the day and then the evenings have just been manic so thank you ever so much for sticking with me uh, I promise it will get better again I'm obviously I'm home now I still have another well the rest of um, this week and uh, next week of just doing some more local courses once that's finished I am completely back to normality so uh, hopefully we'll start picking up again then but what I do want to talk about is something that initially I thought was uh, just a bit of a gimmick. I've seen them do it before and I thought it's just a way of uh, Nissan getting people to look at the new Leaf. But it looks like the Nissimo might be going to production. Um, I'm not sure whether it's gonna happen worldwide, but I think, well, they're gonna launch it in Japan. Uh, hopefully we'll get a better look at it then. We'll get an idea of uh, range and performance. But just looking at it, what a lovely looking car. They've taken what is effectively their bulk standard uh, design that they're using across the range at the moment, and they've tweaked for the Leaf, just to make it look a little bit different, but ultimately it still looks pretty much the same as the rest of their range. Uh, and they've kind of jazzed it up a bit, uh, and I think it looks really nice. So that's a bit about the, uh, the new souped up Nissan Leaf we can expect. And um, apologies for jumping around a bit. Uh, I'm doing lots of driving today I'm on and off of sort of quick roads and slower roads and I'm really aware that when I'm on the faster roads you, you probably struggle to hear me with the sound so I'm um, I've got to do it in bits while I'm kind of in those those slower areas now the other car or new car that um, I've been getting a bit excited about over the last few weeks but I've been kind of tempering it because I didn't actually think that it was anywhere near production but um it's the uh, Sono Motors Scion. So the Sono Motors is the make, Scion is the, the model of the car. Now it's it's another kind of, I think they're a startup company, I, I think that's pretty accurate. Um, but the reason this car is a bit different is because they have covered the car in solar panels and they've said that having a car covered in solar panels will be able to produce enough, enough electricity to keep that battery topped up so that it's got a, a decent range on it to drive. Now, until now, most people have kind of said, in order to get enough range from putting solar panels on your car, you're probably gonna have to tow a trailer behind, you know, meters and meters and meters long uh, in order to get a meaningful amount of power back into the battery. Now, they're claiming that they've actually achieved this, and they say that on a, a normal day of good sunshine, that car can produce enough electricity through its own solar panels uh, to power it for 30 miles. If we take that on face value, that is a really meaningful amount of distance that you can go. You look at the Mitsubishi um, plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, I think the charge in that before it kicks onto its, um, its engine is about 30 miles. So for you know a lot of people that maybe, I don't know, for example, you do a school run, go to work, do the school run again and go home. For an awful lot of people, that is well within its 30 miles. And it's gonna be sat in a car park most of the day, hopefully in the sunshine, charging up. So potentially, this is a, a really, really good kind of breakthrough in solar and battery technology that will allow, potentially, free driving. So you'll never have to pay for road tax, uh, you'll never have to pay for electricity. And they've also said that all the servicing and the maintenance, they're gonna release videos 
and the manuals online and they say that anybody should be able to do that and they've taken it one step further uh, and this is the other reason why I'm getting excited about it is because not only will it generate its own electricity and allow the, you know charge its own battery that electricity goes two ways it will also allow you to take electricity from the battery to power things so you can pretty much plug in whatever you want uh, so you know for example you if you like camping and you normally go and have an electric hookup you can just plug all your camping stuff into your car so all your lights and your cooking and everything else just plug straight into your car um, I don't know if you go somewhere where you want to use some power tools and there's no nowhere to plug in plug them into your car um, you know I'm kind of making stuff up but the point is that's a really really sensible practical use for the battery that little portable power station that you're driving around in you can now use it they've shown pictures of the inside very basic inside little screen uh, basic looking car nice looking car um, hopefully with some real practical applications and minimal minimal cost once you've you've bought it and um, yeah so watch this space hopefully that will come to the UK sort of soonish and we can have a good look at that Right, home now, and I even managed to get a sneaky half hour gym session in, which, um, to be honest, I needed desperately after sitting around all day. So um, so that's worked out well. And uh, I think I think Sarah and Annabelle are home and Thomas is still out of the party. So um, probably another manic evening now and um, time to get dinner on. Hello. <laughs> We've noticed the camera! Oh, oh. We've noticed the camera, haven't we, Thomas? Oh, me, oh, no, me, oh, me, oh, me. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 Well, there you go. Not the most exciting of days, I know, but um, hopefully there's a couple of cars that I spoke about today that you'll agree they're quite exciting for the future and hopefully the near future as well. So um, we'll keep an eye on that. The other thing that I got this evening was an email direct from Nissan. Um, it was obviously just a, a generic email to anyone on their mailing list saying uh, or asking if you wanted to be kept up to date with the UK launch of the Nissan Leaf. So obviously I've signed up to that. As and when I get any more information, I'll let you know. And um, well, the, my local garage know anyway that I, I'm desperate for a test drive. So uh, hopefully uh, that will come the early part of next year. But um, kids are upstairs getting ready for bed now. I'm having a quick whiz round to get tidied up so that um, hopefully Sarah and I can have a bit of a sit down and a, a relax this evening. Um, so kind of a a short day's vlog really not a lot happened today uh, I appreciate that if you've enjoyed today's vlog um, hopefully you will uh, like and share it and if you're not doing so already subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll see you again soon take care